What I want to do now is talk about three concepts which are important for us to understand when we are critiquing research. Now the first of these is reliability. Is the piece of research we are looking at reliable? Now if someone's reliable, they turn up for work on time every day. If your car is reliable, every time you start it, well, it'll start. It'll do the same thing every time. And that's really all reliability means. Will something do the same thing every time we go and use it? So a research data gathering tool or a research methodology should you yield, should yield the same results every time we use it. So if we collect some data this year and we use the same methodology in 10 years time, we should be able to collect the same data. Or if we use it this year, it should yield the same results as we got last year or two years ago. As well as that, if reliability is high, the same results will be yielded wherever the study is carried out. So if the study is carried out in England or the United States or Africa or Australia, shouldn't matter because if it's reliable, the same results should be yielded every time. The idea of reliability. Good research is reliable. It uses reliable methods. Now the next concept I want to talk about is validity. Something is valid if it does what it claims to do. If it does what it claims to do. So if a study claims to be able to measure patient's anxiety, then that's what it should do. It should measure a patient's anxiety. Validity is the degree to which the study accurately represents the reality it is claiming to represent. So if a study accurately represents reality, well, we say that study is, is a valid study. If someone's claiming to be able to measure pain and they're not measuring pain, they're measuring something else, then that study is not valid. So validity, the degree to which the study actually does that which it claims to do. The third concept I want to mention in this section is the idea of bias. The idea of bias in research. And basically there are two types of bias. The first is a systematic bias. Now a systematic bias will be something that is actually wrong with the research methodology. This means that the results will be biased or inaccurate all the way through. And all the results are likely to be inaccurate to some degree or other if there is a systematic bias. Normally a flaw in the research methodology affecting all of the results. The other type of bias is an intermittent bias. An intermittent bias will only show up from time to time and therefore the results will only be distorted from time to time. So a systematic bias will be there all the time, an intermittent bias will only be there some of the time, a systematic bias is likely to affect all of the results, an intermittent bias is likely only to affect some of the results.